Hello everyone. I got a double Nelson here for you. Hill Farmsteads single hop double IPA that only uses Nelson. Well, I believe it only uses Nelson hops. They don't actually say call it a single hop beer, but I'm pretty sure that's what this series is. It's I believe it's also 8% alcohol, but they haven't been putting alcohol content on their cans lately. This was canned eight days ago. And I've had a couple others in the double series. I don't know if I'd, I had double citra recently. I can't remember what other ones I had. And they're really darn good. I'm excited about this one. I haven't had a single, single hop Nelson beer in quite a while. I think it's pretty hard to get a huge amount of this hop. It's from New Zealand. It's really, really popular. Very interesting. I'm not sure what to expect. I haven't been crazy about this hop lately. First couple years I was drinking, I was like, wow, this is just so unique. <clears throat> that looks really beautiful, very pale. Perfect head. That's the thing that Hill Farmstead is able to do with their super hazy double IPAs is get really good head and retention. Whereas a lot of stuff from Trillium, <clears throat> their, their double IPAs often don't have a very nice head, but a lot of people don't care about it. I do. I usually get some sort of like green peppery note from uh, from Nelson, along with the white wine sort of notes, like Sauvignon Blanc grape notes that people, uh, you know, usually get. Mm. Yep, it's got that almost spicy, peppery, almost smoky jalapeno thing that I get. Always, it's, it's like the hallmark. <clears throat> I think I'm pretty good at I'm picking out beers that have Nelson in them because of that. And it's got a minerality that's maybe similar to Sauvignon Blanc wine, but also very tropical at the same time. Yeah, it's a little bit bubblegummy, not much. Yeah, creamsicle, for sure lots of mango and peach happening. They're probably mostly mango peach. That's the prominent <clears throat> fruit note, and that head is just not quitting. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm, yeah, that herbaceous peppery note is strong in the flavor. <clears throat> it seems a little bit too bright. It's really nice, though, because it's not overwhelming all the fruity notes. It's pretty sweet. This has a really, really nice mouthfeel. Mm. Yeah, it's soft and silky, substantial, but not syrupy. And the head is just like a perfect, wow. This is a very, very, very good beer. Mm. Just enough bitterness, really clean finish. I'm not getting a lot of specifically barley flavor in it, like I do with some Hill Farmstead beers. But <clears throat> there's some sort of like toasty, honey nut Cheerios type malt sweetness, but it's really just supporting all the interesting qualities that you're getting from the Nelson hops. Mm. Yeah, and I wonder, this might be one of these crops that uh, they handpicked at Hill Farmstead. It's, it's, this is maybe one of the best Nelson beers I've ever had, which I guess isn't surprising. It's from the best brewery in the world. Mm. But yeah, really big on the peach and mango. Maybe some pineapple in there too, but it's pretty stone fruity, I would say. Mm. Kind of grapefruity, I guess. But not really, not, not super bitter grapefruit. Though it does have some uh, real IBUs in here. I think they did boil some hops. Because <clears throat> it's it's got a good bitterness that cleans it up. No chalky, no throat burns, weird stuff happening. Really, really masterfully made beer. This deserves, yeah, four and a half plus, four, seven, five probably for me. Mm. Yeah, it's just reminding me that you can brew with just Nelson hops and still make a super tropical beer. It's not gonna be 
I don't know, too minerally and, and white grapey. I don't like it when <clears throat> some brewers make IPAs of this that are like too dry and it, it doesn't have, you know, fruits in it. I want hoppy fruit flavors. I don't just want white wine flavors in my in my IPAs. This is really, really good beer. Yeah, super shocking, I know. But I'm really glad that I was able to get this one. And yeah, I, I think it's, it's it's just as good as double citra, honestly. I might like the citra more just because I'm a citra fan. If you blend them together, that might be just the best beer ever of all time. Mm, it's a really interesting aroma with a peppery spice. <clears throat> but then it still stays really fruity. A little bit more grapefruit and citrus coming in now. But pretty complex beer, even though it just probably has, you know, four different ingredients. So yeah, close to 475 for me. Goodbye.